Hey everyone, what's going on? And for today's video, I just want to talk about the new SNES core update. This is a pretty big one in my opinion. RTC is around the corner. Real-time clock is coming to cores everywhere. So it's awesome. I can't wait to see that on stuff like the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance. It's going to be a game changer for a lot of the games there. Especially ROM hack community. People like myself, I like playing these Pokemon games. And uh, I love playing them with the real-time clock. So... Without further ado, uh, we'll do what I usually do. We'll switch over to the computer. We'll check out what the update is, and then we'll come back. So first, please leave a like, subscribe, do all that great YouTube stuff. I hope I earned it, and uh, let's get into the video now. All right, so here we are on the AGG23 GitHub website. So from here, you can see the latest update, and honestly, the best way to install this is just to use pocket updater it'll do everything for you you won't really have to think about it so but just to check out what happened let's go over to here this will be the latest update which is about 17 hours ago of time of recording which is on veterans day here in america so here looks like they are going to support smc roms that's that's awesome uh what else do they support uh let's see all physical chips supported by the misters are now supported in this core. That's great news. This, this is becoming more and more uh, solid. Full PAL support, amazing. It's awesome, including SF, uh, Super FX PAL titles, RTC support. I just looked it up. It's only a couple games that I can find. So I'd be interested to see that. And that's also a great thing. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, RTC support for Game Boy and Game Boy uh, Advance, Game Boy Color. That is really the last thing that's in my opinion, holding out against the flashcards is that real-time clock that really plays a big factor, at least for me, when playing these games. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, CPU and Super FX Turbo support. Uh, the mouse support using D-pad. Okay, I think I showed that one before. And fixed garbage lines on various games. Cool. So that's awesome. The RTC is really, I'm really looking forward to see that. That's, that's something I... I think it's pretty big you know, you'll see more of that stuff coming down the line too but all right now enough uh showing it here let's see how it looks on the pocket itself and let's test out some of the rtc stuff and super fx games all right all right so we're back let's check it out now here's the about i mentioned agg23 great job porting this and up keeping it up to date this is awesome uh, Real-time clock's amazing. I, I really enjoy using it on on my uh, right here, my single cart of Pokemon Crystal. I cannot replicate that real-time clock inside the analog pocket other than a flash drive or a, anything that has a battery. So it's pretty cool that they brought it here. So And the Super FX is also pretty cool. So what we'll do is uh, we'll just check it out. I'll run a couple of games. Uh, let's just do Super FX first, and then we'll do Real Time Clock just to just to wrap it up. So let's do Doom. Now, I don't expect this to be a crazy long video like any of my previous ones. You just simply look at these games, see how they run, see how they look, and then we'll call it a day. So Doom, Doom just came out on almost every platform. I think you can play Doom on a, on your smartwatch now. I think it's actually a thing. Looks really good. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go, so you shoot. They're right on my button first. Oh, oh, what the hell? Oh, armor. Go. Picked up mega armor. This is cool. Looks really good, let me tell you. Ah, oh, that's how you switch weapons. <laughs> this is awesome. This is cool. Looks really good. It's not full screen, but it looks really good. I'm sure you could change that in the settings if you really wanted to. 
Okay, it's a turbo. I don't think it does any. It's anything special here. I don't need it on though. So let's um. Okay, so look, you can change the aspect here. That makes it okay. The four by three. Oh, you can check the map there. Let's see what else we got. All right. Uh, cool. All right, let's try a different one now. Let's try Starwing. Heavy's cores have gotten a lot more stable. I remember the beginning. You sometimes just switching it would be would be a problem, but now that's not even an issue anymore. It's really come a long way. I'll I'll, I'll give it that. Okay. There we go. Now, yeah, so far it looks good. Gas is fire button. That was a bombs. Oh man, this is so cool. This was been crazy when this first came out. Just being able to do this type of stuff. This is nuts. I'm always amazed by what they were able to do back then. Go blow it up. Whatever that is, I'm going to try and get it. I don't, know if I'm, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Oh, I got it. Actually, I did not get it. I missed it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, nice. That was a lot of fun. All right, let's load up the last one. This, is, this also uses the Super FX chip. Okay, that's right. I think I still have. Ah, there we go. There we go. That means that the light gun would have worked there too. Interesting. I gotta say, this green really makes it look good. Look at this. That looks really good, let me tell you. There's baby Mario. There goes baby Mario. <laughs> then we'll just check out the real-time clock. I don't really know how I'm going to be able to check it out. I'm going to start the game, see. I've heard that some of the games will give you issues with the real-time clock if it doesn't work. So maybe if it just starts up fine, it'll work. And I probably will butcher the name, to say the least, because it's in Japanese. There we go. And jump. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> ah, there you go. That looks really nice, I gotta say. Looks really good for a Super Mario game. I've always said that. Feels like something they could release today, honestly. Okay, let's try the real-time clock stuff, and then we'll... 
we'll wrap it up. Those were really big ones for me. Okay, let's go to back at RTC. So there are two of them here. Uh, I think Fate of the Far Zero the translation for this one. I'm not too sure the translation of the name for this one. So let's try this one first. There really were not that many that came out with uh, RTC for Super Nintendo. So I'm very interested in having this come to the Game Boy Color. Uh, and the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance, because that one, you have a lot of games that are going to benefit from it. I'm playing some that really require, like, Crystal Clear, Unbound. Oh, a lot of Pokemon ROM hacks use the, the clock. Okay, let's see how long this intro is. Very long intro just to start it. I wish I could skip this part. I've been really into these JRPG games recently. So I've been playing Triangle Strategy. I swear, I wish I could just do like a Shadow Clone Jutsu of myself and have myself play like all my games at once. I wish I could do that because, man, so many games I want to play. <laughs> I only have so much time. And I highly recommend Triangle Strategy if you're a big JRPG fan. All right, this one's taking quite some time, my God. Okay, let's see. Can I start it now? I mean, it's going to be in all Japanese regardless. It's very cool, though. We have an English version of this. Interested in what happened already. Oh, no. Tsunami. Run, everybody. I don't know what a real-time clock comes in here, but very interested in knowing that. Or how to set it up. I'm guessing I haven't received any errors, so I'm guessing it's just fine. Man, this is a long intro. <laughs> okay, right, we got to go to the next one. I stay here, this is going to be... I haven't even had a chance to put a name in yet. Okay, so let's try this one. All right, here we go. And... Okay. Let's see. RTC time. There you go. Look. That's awesome. It even tells you right here. All okay. RTC time is okay. Well, that made it easier. It, it, all right. Thank you. That really saved a lot of time right there. Even though I cannot do anything else. Uh, okay. How do I continue to the game? It doesn't let me, but uh, it works. All right. At least the RTC works. Thank you for showing me that. Wish I could try it out. Let me try it one more time. See what happens. Okay. A does, I wonder if I have to press a different button. That's just for the check. Uh, it's mode one. If I press another button instead. Let's see. What if I try, let's go ahead and try B or start B. Okay. Okay. Well, let me, let's load it again. Okay. This is more like a check than anything else. Well, let me change it. Ah, oh, man. If I if I had if I 
maybe it's a Google Translator thing, I'd be able to see what it's telling me, but for some reason it's just telling me to test. But it's cool, it actually shows you that RTC does work right now, no problem on this core. Well, all right, everyone, thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video.